Musaylima or Musaylima bin Abab was one of a series of people who claimed prophethood in 7th century Arabia, which is the time of Islamic prophet Muhammad. He is considered by Muslims to be a false prophet and is always referred to as the liar. His followers were also very devout. Biography Musaylima's name was Maslama ibn Habib al-Hanifi, which indicates that he was the son of Habib of the tribe Banu Hanifa, one of the largest tribes of Arabia that inhabited the region of Najd. The Banu Hanifa were a Christian branch of Banu Bakr and led an independent existence prior to Islam. Musaylima was the theocratic lord of a sacred harem or enclave which, according to one report, he had set up in Yamamar after Prophet Muhammad's Hijra. He thus controlled an extensive area of eastern Arabia. He controlled more or less territories and properties than the Prophet Muhammad. Among the first records of him is in late 9th Hijri, the year of delegations, when he accompanied a delegation of his tribe to Medina. The delegation included two other prominent Muslims. They would later help Musaylima rise to power and save their tribe from destruction. These men were Nahara Rajal bin Unfuar and Muja bin Mirara. In Medina, the deputation stayed with the daughter of Al-Harith, a woman of the Ansar from the Banu Najar. When the delegation arrived at Medina the camels were tied in a traveler's camp, and Musaylima remained there to look after them while the other delegates went in. They had talks with Muhammad. The delegation before their departure embraced Islam and renounced Christianity without compunction. As was his custom, Muhammad presented gifts to the delegates, and when they had received their gifts one said, We left one of our comrades in the camp to look after our mounts. Muhammad gave them gifts for him also, and added, He is not the least among you that he should stay behind to guard the property of his comrades. On their return they converted the tribe of Banu. Hanifa to Islam. They built a mosque at Jamamar and started regular prayers, proclaiming prophethood and teachings. His teachings were almost lost but a neutral review of them does exist in Debstani Mazaheb. He prohibited pigs and wine, taught three daily prayers to the god, facing whatever side, Ramadan fasting at night, and no circumcision. Musaylima, who is reported as having been a skilled magician, dazzled the crowd with miracles. He could put an egg in a bottle, he could cut off the feathers of a bird and then stick them on so the bird would fly again, and he used this skill to persuade the people that he was divinely gifted. Musaylima shared verses purporting them to have been revelations from God and told the crowd that Muhammad had shared power with him. Musaylima even referred to himself as Rahman, which suggests that he may have attributed some divinity to himself. Thereafter, some of the people accepted him as a prophet alongside Muhammad. Gradually the influence and authority of Musaylima increased with the people of his tribe. Musaylima sought to abolish prayer and freely allow sex and alcohol consumption. He also took to addressing gatherings as a messenger of Allah just like Muhammad, and would compose verses and offer them as Quranic revelations. Most of his verses extolled the superiority of his tribe, the Bani Hanifa, over the Quraysh. Musaylima also proposed to share power over Arabia with Muhammad. Then one day, in late 10 Hijri, he wrote to Muhammad. Muhammad, however, replied back. His marriage to Sarja and death. During the apostasy movement which emerged following the death of Muhammad, Sarja bin Tal Harith ibn Suayyid declared she was a prophetess after learning that Musaylima and Tulaha had declared prophethood. 4,000 people gathered around her to march on Medina. Others joined her against Medina. However, her planned attack on Medina was called off after she learned that the army of Khalid ibn al-Walid had defeated Tulaha al-Asadi. Thereafter, she sought cooperation with Musaylima to oppose the threat of Khalid. A mutual understanding was initially reached with Musaylima. Later, the two married and she accepted his self-declared prophethood. 
Khalid then crushed the remaining rebellious elements around Saja, and then moved on to crush Musaylima. Musaylima fought and was killed in the Battle of Yamama by Washir bin Harb, the same man who killed Muhammad's uncle, Hamza, in the Battle of Uhud before his conversion to Islam. After Musaylima was killed, Saja converted to Islam.